Okay, look at that. It's red salmon, hot smoked, absolutely delicious. <laughs> look at this. I was working today and some good friends of ours stopped by. Look what they gave us, a red salmon. Look at the beautifulness of this. Okay, this guy is obviously spawning, but it's still so good. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this thing off the bone, soak it in salt water all night. We're gonna smoke this thing tomorrow over the fire. It's gonna be so good, yay! Here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna get this thing, ah, I might save a chunk, I think, just to eat. Maybe, maybe even tonight, I got a fire pit right here. I'm gonna get this thing set up so we can smoke this, oh, hot smoke it over the fire. Kind of like we did on alone. Mm. It's gonna be awesome! That was so unexpected. I had no idea they were gonna bring us a fish today. That's so stinking cool. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So I got this giant filet. That's just one side of the fish. I'll do the other side, get it ready for smoking. All right guys, so I just poured some water in here. I got my strips. What I'm gonna do now is just add a bunch of salt. I just, I just wanna brine these overnight. I'll tell you what, when we were on the show, when we were on Vancouver Island on a loan, we would catch those kelp greenlings. And I found like this little, you know, I think it was a piece of a hard float that was all broken. And it kind of made this little bowl. And so we would put our kelp greenling in there overnight and soak them in that salt water. And, oh, it just made the best smoked fish. You, you just couldn't believe it. But I think also what I'm going to do is add a little bit of honey to this. I don't know, never tried it. Sounds like a good idea. I don't know. See what we come up with tomorrow. All right, guys. Here's what I'm doing. I just put some ice in this bowl. I had to switch bowls. I'm gonna put this in the styrofoam cooler for the night because we don't have any electricity. And let this thing brine. Tomorrow, right here by the fire, we'll smoke it up. Now what I'm gonna do is cut some alder. We got a ton of it on the property. I'm gonna cut some alder to build like a little tripod to go over my fire. That way I can smoke, hot smoke, my fish strips. There's the setup. I'm gonna get a fire started and I'm gonna let it get a nice bed of coals, get smoky. I'm gonna cover it up with some uh, aspen bark, smoke our fish.
can't seem to get this fire regulated. It's either too hot or it's not doing enough. But I'm going to go make myself a cold beverage and sit here and tend the fire. It's not too bad of a night. I'll give you a tour. You got the aspen bark all the way around and alder leaves plug in the holes. It's pretty sweet. Memories, babe? Yeah, it does. Hot smoked fish. Oh, oh, crappers! What'd you do, woman? Another piece just fell. This is insane. Did you get it? No, it's squarely in the fire. Oh. Not serving this salmon up very good. Roast that stuff up. It's all brined good. I bet it'll taste good. Hmm. Let's take a look here. Sure looks pretty. Need a nice hot fire and some smoke and get these things all cooked up and looking good. Look at that. That is beautiful. Man, that brings back a lot of memories from Vancouver Island, let me tell you. Sitting there staring at your food while it cooks. One of life's simple pleasures right there. And that's beautiful too. You just can't beat it. Man, that's nice to look at. It does a, a good job of what you're using it for. As long as you don't catch it on fire. It's just like the hemlock and the spruce poles we had. Of course, we had a lot more rock built up. A lot more rock. This catches on fire though, it's like gas. It goes up like nobody's business. Insane. It is too. Never would have expected that. Burns way better than the wood does. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, let's check this this fish. Holy smokes. I just tried a nibble and it is just delicious. Look at how beautiful that setup is, I mean, you just can't get more like Indian diorama, right? Like this is what you picture all the Indians did way back in the day to like cook their fish. Just beautiful. What is the matter? Did Mama yell at you? Did she? Did she? Was she mean to you? Oh my God! Mama hit you. <laughs> oh, hi, baby. We're looking at that fish, going, mm, Mama, give me some fish. Hey, look at that. It's red salmon, hot smoked. That's how we did it on alone. Hot smoking the fish over the fire, brined it all night, and then smoked it. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. Looks pretty. Oh, wow. Mmm. That is really, really good. That is really good. Cream cheese and crackers. Mmm. That'd be fantastic. Look at how good that turned out. Mmm. Mmm. Is it Maisie approved? You want some? Go ahead. Maisie.
What a spoiled mutt. <laughs> Copper River Reds. <laughs> Mm. That is absolutely delicious. You can't beat the setup for a hot smoking fish like this. Mm. Well guys, there you have it. Full plate of hot smoked salmon. That's how you hot smoke fish, guys. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And as always, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Until next time. Oh, and don't forget to get outside and get happy.